Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com and I am back for some more mail time. So as you know, we were on vacation this weekend, so I didn't do a lot of filming. Uh, in fact, I pretty much only filmed the contest <clears throat> drawing, which we just posted, uh, number three won, in case you're wondering. Uh, I don't know yet what they want as their prize. They haven't emailed me back yet, um, but I assume they're sleeping or something, and we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, as soon as I know, I'll let you know what they wanted because I think that's interesting. But I'm, I'm not going to share their name or anything because that's a, kind of a pri privacy issue. Um, but yeah, okay, so, but now, <laughs> while we were gone, I got some more mail. So I have to open these up. I've got three, including this one. This is kind of small. Um, and I think this is more Elvira cards. <laughs> I know that seems weird, but I do collect those for my PCs, so... Uh, you know, my personal collection. So I do enjoy them. Uh, let's see, I think I cut his letter off here. Oh no. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay, so it's like, uh, I guess one package and another. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so I get it. There's, um, <laughs> there's some not safe for work stuff on the other side of this. I've got to, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know this or not, but the, the vendor I buy my Elvira cards from deals in a lot of not safe for work cards, like got a story and that kind of thing. And so whenever he sends me something, he always sends uh, some of those as well. And I can't show those on stream, unfortunately. You know what? I'm going to have to get those out later, I guess. This letter just says ar archivist on it, so it's not nothing important. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, I collect these for my personal collection. I'm trying to complete a couple different sets of them. It's, it's really difficult. Uh, I mean, you can buy complete sets, but they will cost a lot. And the card quality is, you don't know, right? And so I like to buy instead singles from people that I know will send me good cards. And then... Yeah, that way I'm not kind of like risking a bunch of money and getting, you know, potentially some badly treated cards, right? And this particular vendor, uh, the one that I've always used for my player cards, has never failed. They've always sent me just the best stuff, and I'm sure this will be no different. Um, so yeah, it's this set again, this Mistress of the Dark set. It's one of her only sets where it was just her. I'll take these out and take a look at them. These are some of the especially rare cards from that set. Uh, so these ones are, well, I don't know about the hardest to get, but they're tough to get. <laughs> uh, and so I wanted to get these ones particularly in there, just in great condition, as you can see. I'm very happy again with the condition of all this. Yeah, this is the one I really wanted. So this is the one where uh, she's dressed as a hippie. is pretty tough to find, so I think that's a just a beautiful card. I'm really happy to have that one. And then, yeah, I got her witch. I already have this one, but I think I have this one. So these are dupes, but... Getting these three was worth it. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy with this purchase anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is really good. These are good. Very happy with this. Uh, thank you again. That's Stuff Beyond Worlds on whatnot. They always send me this. And I will look at the... <laughs> I'll look at the Not Safe for Work stuff a little bit later. But for now, I'll just pause that. Maybe put these to the side here. Grab the next box. Should I do a box or a... Let me do next. Okay. I was trying to decide what to do next. Yeah, so this is one of those big bubble wrap bubble wrap uh, packages you get from AliExpress. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the wrapping off this. I'm gonna pause while I do that, and then I'll come back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I'll put the uh, plastic off. Okay. <laughs>
I'm not 100% sure. Oh, okay. No, I am now. I know exactly what's in here now. Okay, so this is more of a refill order like I did last time with One Punch Man. But some sets that I really, well, one set that I really like. I wanted to get more copies of it. And then there is one new set in here that we haven't seen before, but not a ton. Of so it won't be just a bunch of new sets like usual. <laughs> There will be some of those orders soon. I've got crazy orders in for, like, the new uh, Legend of Zelda set, for example. I should get the 60, 60th Anniversary Spider-Man one soon. I haven't arrived yet. Weird, because I ordered this one after that, but this one got here first. <laughs> yeah, so what's going to be in here is... Three of these. This, this is uh, JoJo's Adventures, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Big Blue Box. I love that particular one. And it's also very cheap, so these are only $15 each, which is why I got three of them again. Now they usually come tampered. <laughs> I. I actually think this one's okay. At least it looks okay. <laughs> this one also looks... No, okay, so that's been opened. So do you see here how damaged that sticker is? That doesn't happen in shipping. That only happens if someone peels the sticker off. So this one has been opened. This one, as you see, doesn't have that damage. Like the holographic, it's really hard to see on camera. But what I'm looking at are these, <laughs> well, it's really hard to see. But these kind of green lines are words, and you can't see them here. The words have all been distorted when that was pulled off, but they're still here and here. So this uh, was not removed. That one was removed and then reapplied. The reason they do that is because these boxes potentially can have gold, like actual gold cards in them. It's not a redemption. And so the vendors tend to uh, search the boxes. They weigh them, and if they weigh more, they'll open them and take out the gold card or whatever and leave the rest. Um, again, I don't mind because I'm just collecting anyway, so I don't care. I, I love all the cards that come out of these boxes. So. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't bother me at all that they're searched. Uh, I'll probably save one of the non-searched ones for a prize later on, because I can use that in the next giveaway. Uh, and I'll open the other two myself. Uh, but yeah, so there's three more children boxes. That'll be fun. And then, like I said, <clears throat> there is one new thing in there, and it's this. So what this is, is... <clears throat> So do you know that little um, green box that I was giving away as part of the giveaway? That is the pre-release -re pre set of this. So this is the Miyazaki Hayao Mitaka Museum trading card set, the actual release, right? So this is the actual box that you would go and buy uh, at the museum. But they did a pre-release of this, and that's what that smaller box is. So this uh, is kind of like hopefully upgraded version of that, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to open this one, but I'm probably going to save it until I get another one in so that I can do kind of a comparison. Uh, but yeah, I have a bunch of these. They make a lot of Studio Ghibli sets. I'm not kidding, like at least 10 different ones that I've seen. Uh, I have three of them now with this. I'm going to have four. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different ones of these, so if you like Ghibli cards, uh, very easy to find. All right, one more, and then we'll be done. And this one I'm very excited about, although it's very small. Um, believe it or not, there's, well, there should be four boxes in here. But again, very small boxes, sort of like that bleach box we looked at. Uh, but they have less cards in them. Still really excited for it because of the franchise. 
I don't want to spoil it. Mostly because I, I'm not entirely sure that it will be the right thing, but we're going to find out. So, yeah, they all, this vendor always gives you like freebies, so that's what this is. So these will be very not safe for work uh, freebies. And then these are the actual boxes. Like I said, they're tiny. So what are these? <laughs> this is the newest Chainsaw Man set. And it's a completely new set, totally different from the other three that I have. So I have Big Face Studios, I have KX, and I have that weird G Plus Fashion 8-pack set. Uh, this is different, different manufacturer from all of those. The trick with these boxes is uh, they only have five total cards in them. This whole box, just five cards. Uh, so that's kind of why I bought four, because I want to make sure I got a good view of what this set is. Uh, they're cheap too, so you can get four for like $50, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to open one of these on video next, just because I'm kind of excited to see this, and that might be my last video for today. Uh, but yeah, that's all the mail I have now. Uh, so you got the three boxes of Ghibli and uh, Jojo, and then the one Ghibli box. But I'm, cra I'm really tired from that trip. I probably shouldn't be filming today, but uh, I just want to get a couple of videos done, because otherwise I won't have any content for this week. Um, but yeah, bear with me if the video is a little boring, just uh Sorry, I'm really tired. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop talking now, and I will cut this video, and we'll start a new one for uh, this Chainsaw Man set.